Welcome to problems 11 from chapter 6. You should watch the video on problem 7 from chapter 6 because the two are interlinked. In fact, if you have the spreadsheet already, you can simply just change the mean and the standard deviation because the rest of the numbers will stay the same. By the way, as a note in the Word document, there is an error in the solution for A. The, uh, the error is the, the number in part A is wrong. And I'll show you what the correct answer is. So in this case, the mean is 25.46 gallons per capita consumption of bottled water in China. The standard deviation is 8. So one of the things you notice compared to the American distribution is the mean is quite a bit less. And the standard deviation, of course, is smaller. So in part A, what is the probability someone in China will consume more than 33 bottles of, or gallons of water, of bottled water? And so the answer for that is in cell B15, which is 17.3%. Now, in part B, it wants to know the range from 10 to 20. And you can see that the range is between 10 to 20 gallons is 22.08%, which is in cell B27. In part C, what is the probability in China uh, that someone in China will consume less than 10 gallons? So we want a less than. So we go back up to cell B8. We enter the 10. And we can see that the probability is in cell B10 of 2.66%. We go down to the cumulative range. We enter our 99. And we see that 99% of bottled water consumers in China will consume a maximum of 44.07 gallons. So that is the answer for in cell B32. So in the previous example, answering part C, or E, sorry, is you can see that several things occur. The mean is less. The, all the other values for China are less. So the bottled water consumption is less. The upper limit of 99% is 44 gallons in China. The United States is 65 gallons. So the analysis of this is people in China consume less bottled water per capita than they do in the United States. Or the reverse of that is people in the United States consume more bottled water per capita than people in China.